not sure, PC Malcolm. I don't think Mandy's read the big book of bees. Oh, Thank you, Sam and Penny, for digging such a wonderful flower bed for our bee-friendly flowers. You're welcome. No problem. So, do you all have a seed cluster? A what? A seed cluster? What's a seed cluster? It's a cluster of bee-friendly flower seeds that we throw on the ground. You've got one in your hand, sir? Oh, of course. I wonder why she gave me that. As you were, Buzz. Seed! Ooh! <laughs> Sorry, sir. We'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> Are we going to be wearing one of those, Uncle Malcolm? Protective clothing is very important when you're beekeeping, Mandy. I read it in the Big Book of Bees by any chance. No, Mandy. You don't need protective clothing as long as you stay a good distance away from the beehives. Whoa! What's that smoky thing? Oh, 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 it's a bee smoker, Mandy. It keeps the bees calm while you collect their honey. James is right, Mandy. And you have to be very careful and keep away from it because... Because they get very hot. Page 76. <sighs> I'm going to find a really good spot for my bee hotel. It won't be as good as mine. And I'll be over there gathering some honey. OK, Lily. Give it your best throw. Best throw coming up! Hmm. How would you like your own little bee-friendly flower bed, Lily? Yes, please, Fireman Sam! Oh, I've collected so many honeycombs today, I'm going to need another bucket. How are you kids doing? Really good. My bee hotel has got loads of visitors. Mine will have soon. I hope. Oh, a guest! No! It's because your bee hotel is too close to the ground, Mandy. You need to put it higher. I like it where it is. And so will the bees. The... What? Oh! Ah! Great tangled hoses! Hurry! Grab the controls! I think we should maybe look at those satin upgrades, sir. Well, I think maybe Cridlington should look where he's going. Sorry, sir. Oh, give them back the lunar chart! Now, now, Norman, give it back. No, I'm sorry, Joe, but this is for the good of all humankind. Wait, wait, I know. Um, Norman, if you really want to save Ponty Pandy from the, um, moon men, what you need is, um... Uh, a, a pickle. A pickle? A pickle? A pickle? Uh, yes, a pickle. It's what the moon men are most afraid of. Oh, no! I'd better get a pickle! A pickle, Anna? Uh, really? It was the only thing I could think of. But I haven't got a pickle. Don't worry, James. I was just making it up to distract Norman. Are you sure? I don't like the sound of the moon men. Oh, it's too high, Sam. Ah. Oh, I can't reach it. Great fires of London. How are we going to get it down, then? Is Saturn waterproof, sir? Absolutely. Fall in the sea more times than I've had Cridlington's chicken pasta. Sam, can you and Elvis get the canvas and hold it out at the bottom of the tree? 
Roger that, Ellie. Ah, I see what she's doing. Gotcha! <laughs> nice work, Ellie. Thanks, Sam. Right then, Cridlington, let's try it off and try again. And this time, look where you're going. Roger that, sir. We've checked the coordinates, and we're on full power. Are you sure it's safe? Yes, James. You just need to stay on this side of the laser so it doesn't go in your eyes. Oh, I know that you should never point lasers in your eyes. I'm more worried about the moon men coming. Norman seems very certain. It'll be fine, James. And we're ready to go in three, two, one... I found the pit -on! Norman, you scared the living daylights out of me. Again. And how did you get back so quickly? The future of humankind was depending on me. And my mum has speckles on special offer. I hope it hasn't gone past its sell-by date. It might not work. Well, now you've got a pickle, Norman. Can we please continue with our experiment? Wait. What if one pickle isn't enough? Maybe we need a whole jar. <gasps> Each. Norman has a point. James, don't you start. Once and for all, there's no such thing as moon men. Oh, Anna! Anna! Oh, hello, Mandy. Have you got me fish and chips? Oh, thanks, love. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, I thought I ordered piping hot fish and chips. This is freezing. Oh, no. Norman was right. My scooter's too slow. Oh. Now, what that scooter needs is a rechargeable, brushless, direct current motor. Oh, I don't suppose you've got one of those, have you, Dad? I do. As it happens, I was just taking one off my leaf blower, like you do. That's what made me think of it. Wow, that's amazing! Could you put it on my scooter, Dad, you know, really, really quickly? Mandy, if it means me fish and chips will be hot next time, no problem all. One souped up scooter coming right up. And can you hurry, Dad? I've got loads of deliveries. Oh, well, it won't be long. Thanks, Dad. But be careful. Don't go too fast and no going over any bumps. Yes, Dad, don't worry. It'll be fine and I'll go really carefully. Right, now, the gas barbecue. And it's cooking the last of my sausages. So this time... Remember we're doing the imagine method, sir. Quite right. Right, so no blasting those delicious, sizzling beauties. The only thing that's going on these sausages is sticky sausage sauce. <laughs> so, what do we do if a gas barbecue catches fire? You need to shut off the gas and smother the fire. And if the canister is really hot, you need to keep it cool. So, we'll do this quickly and then we can tuck into these sausages. Oh no! The sausages! I think maybe we left them on a bit too long, sir. Oh, and now they're burnt to a crisp. Poor sausage. Shame that fire wasn't imaginary. Take away, anyone? OK, we have fish and chips for Hannah, seafood stir-fry for Jodie, and a stir-fry hold the prawns for PC Malcolm. <laughs> oh, where's Mandy? It looks like she's going to turn up right about now. Make way for the super scooter. Well, I hope that super scooter's as fast as it looks. You've got this lot to deliver. It will be, Norman. Oh, come here, you silly phone! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no. I've just taken a photo of me foot. I've just got into town and I'm looking for Tom Thomas. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm Christina. I'm an old friend of his. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi, Christina. Tom's out with the pioneers at the moment, but he'll be back later. Ah, oh, okay. Um, is it all right if I hang out here till he gets back? Of course, Christina. Oh, oh, do you want to see us do a dog bandaging drill, Christina? <laughs> I'd love that. Oh, um, Lizzie, can I have a go? <laughs> there you go, Elvis. Um, like, Rita, it, it, oh, oh, I don't think he likes the bandage. Calm and confident, Elvis. Look, like this. You don't mind the bandage, do you, boy? Oh, <laughs> Christina's very good with dogs, isn't she, Sam? She certainly is, Elvis. Maybe you should show us how to bird watch without your phone. You know, like in the old days. No, mate. I'm not giving up on my snapping spot. Hold still, you little feathery beauty. Ah, oh, it's another herring gull. This is gonna be a good one. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no! Oh, no! Ah! Oh, dear. Oh, no, no. Don't worry, Tom. We'll call Mountain Rescue. Tom Thomas has tumbled over the edge of the cliff on Ponty Pandy Island and is dangling from a branch. Tom Thomas has tumbled over the edge of the cliff on Ponty Pandy Island and is dangling from a branch. We're going to need Wallaby too. But Tom's on the island, Sam. Who's going to fly her? I could fly her. Really? No problem. I'm a qualified pilot. That's how I know Tom. We got our qualifications at the same time. Then let's go. So, we're counting bandages. Yes, Sarah. We used some on our last rescue, and we need to make sure that we're fully stocked. Okay. Sergeant Ravani. Can we do an exciting job next? We never know when those jobs are going to come in, Sarah. But we always have to be ready, which is why what we are doing is so important. Oh. <sighs> Gareth! I did it! I did the hike! Must be all of these lunges I'm doing. <laughs> Gareth? Ooh. Gareth would never leave a train running without someone around. Gareth! Nipper! This doesn't feel right. I'd better call the police station. Okay, so what's next? Well, we could count the... Gareth and Nipper are missing in the woods, near the Mountain Activity Centre. Gareth and Nipper are missing in the woods near the Mountain Activity Centre. <gasps> Sam, take Mercury. Malcolm, take the quad bike. We'll start our search at the Mountain Activity Center. What about us? We want to help. The cadets do know how to form a search line. They've been practicing all day. I don't know how to do one. Then, Sarah, you're with me. Cadets, you're with Ellie. I'll get Tom Thomas to back you all up in Wallaby 2. On my way. Roger that, Tom. Hold tight whilst I work out all positions. Activating GPS. <gasps> We've lost the GPS signal. Looks like we're going to need those maps. Roger that, Sergeant Ravani. I'll get them. Brown box for the mountains, green for the woods.
Okay, I've got all the maps of the woods and the mountains. We need the woods near the mountain activity center. And here it is! Malcolm, Sam and the cadets are here. And Grandad could be lost anywhere in these woods. So Tom could look here. Nice work, Sarah. Let's radio that in. Roger that. You heard the sergeant. We're searching this end of the woods. Cadets, form your search line. I'll go around and work my way back to you. Hold on a tick. I can join the search. Just need to loosen up. Uh, that won't be necessary, sir. Uh, just keep watch by the train. Ooh, uh, right. <laughs> Hello, uh. Yeah, I'm picking up movement northeast in the woods, but the trees are too thick to get any closer. So, according to Tom, Grandad and Nipper are in this clearing here. Come in, ground team. We're sending you the coordinates now. Roger that. I'll take Shadow. You stay back and keep watch in case Gareth and Nipper move. Take that, Sam. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Sorry, Sorry, Sam. Sam. Oh. You see, this is why it's important to keep our hoses neat and tidy. <laughs> At least you had something soft to land on. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I suppose that is one way of looking at it, Elvis. Welcome back to Moose Roberts Sleep Out Challenge. So, what have you got cooking there, Moose? It's one of my favorite foraged recipes. Blackberry and wild garlic soup. Who wants a taste? Oh, <laughs> I mean, uh, not for me, Moose. How about it, kids? Yeah. <laughs> well, suit yourself. You might be hungry later, though. Oh, if we do get hungry, there's always toasted marshmallows. Yes! That's more like it. Not in this camp, James. You know the rule. Oh, only foods foraged from the forest. But you look so tasty. It'll soon be dark out here in the woods, and I expect Moose and his guests will be wanting to turn in for one last night. But don't forget to join us back here in the woods for our breakfast time special to see the conclusion of Moose Roberts' Sleep Out Challenge. Until then, this is Scoop Dooley saying, stay safe, folks. Oh, we will, Scoop. <laughs> Do you think Moose will make it, Elvis? <sighs> of course he will, Ellie. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Ah, one hose untangled. Whew. Nice work, Sam. Oh, watching Moose on the telly has made me peckish. Oh, who fancies Cridlington's pea and parsnip pasta? Ah, not so fast, Elvis. We've got three more hoses to untangle before we can even think about food. Oh. Everyone's asleep. That means it's marshmallow time. <laughs> Let's get toasting. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't think the fire's hot enough. Oh, I know. <gasps> yes. Um, oh, no. That's too hot. Station. Where's my phone? You can use mine! A flaming marshmallow has started a forest fire 
loose and the children are in danger. A flaming marshmallow has started a forest fire. Moose and the children are in danger. I'd better call Wallaby 2 for backup. The runners are ready to go. Race marshals, the runners are in position. Are you ready? Fireman Sam, ready. PC Malcolm, ready. Firefighter Penny, ready. Right, let's get started. It's okay, boy. It's okay. Uh, oh, one moment. A minor technical problem. And we're back. Ellie, would you like to start the race? I'd love to. Ready, runners? On your marks. Get set. Go! And we're off. Look at that star from Jodie. She was like lightning out of the blocks. Jodie and Christina zoom into an early lead. And there goes Station Officer Steele. But what's that? He's been overtaken by Dillis. Breathe, Norman. Breathe. Remember how I taught you? <laughs> oh, that's not helping! There's no breath left! I've run out! No, Norman. In through the nose and out through the mouth, remember? <sighs> oh, yes! I've got it! Look at them all go. It's certainly going to be a close one! Easy, please. This is the Ponty Pandy Fire Department. Oh, bother. Why won't it work? This is Ponty Pandy FM. <laughs> oh, the, oh. <sighs> That's it, Norman. <sighs> We're done. Oh, I'm doing it, Hannah. I think I've got it. Brilliant. It's OK, Hannah. You can go ahead now. I'm holding you back. But I want to help you finish the race. Oh, I will finish the race. I promise. Go on ahead. OK, Norman. I believe in you. <sighs> ah! This should do it. Well done, Mike. And it really is hotting up out there as the leaders head through the trickiest section. Oh, no! The sound's gone entirely this time. Can you fix it, Mike? I can't get the volume back, Ellie. Maybe it needs more power. Mike, are you sure you should be doing that? Oh, no! Whoa there, Prince! Help! I can't hold him! Prince, stop! Come back! Come on, Kilo. We're going to need the police and the fire station for this one. Better call the rescue team. There is a fire at the Ponty Pandy Fun Run. And a horse has bolted and is heading straight for the runners. There's a fire at the Ponty Pandy Fun Run and a horse has bolted and is heading straight for the runners. That's a new one. Venus. I'll tackle the ground fire. 
brought you that penny. Watch out, Penny! Oh, that was close. Is everyone okay? We're okay, but what about Prince? Watch out! Prince is heading straight for the runners! Roger that, Tom. Now, uh, don't panic. We just need you to step off the course for a while. Stay calm, everyone. Just keep moving. Prince won't slow down. I need backup. I think I can help. Sergeant Ravani, see if you can get Kilo in front of Prince and then slow down. Prince will copy what Kilo does. Roger that, Lizzie. Whoa! There we go. You're safe now. It's okay, everyone. I've got Prince. Right, everyone. Uh, I'm pleased to say that we can continue with the fun run. The tension is mounting. I can see someone, I think, coming over the hill. Could this be our winner? I don't like spooky overgrown paths in the deep, dark woods. Aha! Did you know the ancient people of Pontypandy used to navigate using the sun? And by looking at which side of the tree the moss is growing. But we've walked past that same tree four times and I can't see any moss on it at all. And the sun has nearly gone down. Well... Professor Pickles knows where he's going. I really don't think he does. I'm thinking that by doing this drill at night, Elvis will realise just how useful his new uniform will be. Good idea, Penny. Right, firefighters, into the training tower. <laughs> oh, come on. What's going on with Elvis? Hmm, I think I might know. Elvis! It, uh, yeah. Oh, oh uh, yes, Sam? You've got your old uniform on underneath your new one, haven't you? Yes, Sam, I have some. Oh, <laughs> Elvis. Well, my fellow adventurers, I hate to admit it, but we are officially lost. And our phone torches are getting dimmer and dimmer. I'm getting goosebumps again. And not in a good way. Oh, if only we could see a bit better, we'd know where we were going. I've got it. We could make a torch. Just like the ancients did. All I need is a stick and some cloth. Will these help? Perfect. Ah, we'll also need some oil to keep the flame going. I've got oil. Have you? Yes. Olive oil salad dressing. Eureka! Behold the flame of the ancients. I look like a real explorer now. You look like a real fire hazard. Don't worry, James. I'll make sure I keep the torch away from the bushes and the grass. Uh, Professor Pickles, maybe you should have kept the torch away from the trees as well. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, what would the ancient people of Ponty Pandy do now, Professor Pickles? Um... Run! Oh, Ben, I'm really worried. Hannah, James and Sarah went for a picnic up near the forest and they haven't come back yet. Oh, dear. Oh. I don't like the look of that smoke. I think we'd better call the rescue team. There is a forest fire in the deep, dark woods, and Hannah, James, and Sarah are missing. There's a forest fire in the deep, dark woods, and Hannah, James, and Sarah are missing. Uh, just your new uniform. 
warm this time, Elvis. Oh, roger that, Penny. at least one thing off your list. Keep looking. Oh, okay. Um, bit of a problem, ma'am. Oh, no. The water is filling up the cave. We can't get out. Quick, call the rescue team. We can't, ma'am. No signal. Thanks, Sarah. You didn't spot Dillis and Norman on your travels, did you? They were looking for crabs on the beach a little while ago. Uh, maybe they've gone home? I don't think so. I've got everyone's clipboard here, but theirs. Oh, no! The tide's coming in. They might be in trouble. I think we'd better call the rescue team. Right. Let's have one more go at scrambling in under ten seconds. On your marks... Dennis and Norman Price are missing on the beach, and the tide is coming in. Dennis and Norman Price are missing on the beach, and the tide is coming in. Right, team, it's time to scramble for real. Roger, Roger that, that, Penny. Penny. Uh, Penny, I, I think I'll oversee things from here this time. Leave the rescuing to you younger folk. Roger that, sir. Come on, team, let's go. Seven and a half seconds. Well done, team. I'll call for helicopter backup. that cave. I'm going in. There's the electric charging station for aircraft and ground vehicles. And over there is the new office and living area. Um, it's a very nice airport, Benny. But where's the aeroplane? Well, the new rescue plane is kept here, in this hangar. Ooh, let me see, let me see. <laughs> it looks like the new plane is so new, it hasn't even arrived yet. Yeah, Christina was flying it over this morning. I thought she'd be here by now. Oh, but where are the ground crew to help land the plane? <gasps> Maybe I could be the ground crew. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh um, I'll need something to wave. Uh, um, uh, oh, <laughs> perfect. Um, Elvis, I, I think you might need something a bit more, um, airporty. Right. We're going to sail over to Ponty Pandy Island and back again. Three people to each skiff. Come on, Peter. Let's go on this one. Ready? No, Norman, don't raise the sail until everyone's in the boat. 
But why? That's why. That's our dog! And he's got my sandwiches. <laughs> Look what I made! Aren't they brilliant? I'm ready to help land the plane now. <laughs> Just in time. Here it comes now. Oh! <laughs> uh, 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 oh no! It's not slowing down! Wow, Whoa. look at that! Ah, slow down, Christina! That's nice. very cool. Fly far and fast like an aeroplane, but take off and land like a helicopter. So I didn't need to wave it in with my paddles. Someone save Nipper! <laughs> and my sandwiches! I can do it! Hop. No, Peter, wait! It's okay, I've got it! Don't worry, Norman! We'll save the day in no time. Oh, no. They've taken both skiffs. What are we going to do? We're getting closer. Not close enough. Not like this. No! My sandwiches! Come on, Nipper. Oh, no. We're sinking. Don't worry. We can call back to shore for help. Where, where did Ponty Pandy go? We can't have sailed out that far. Can we? We're lost. In a sinking boat. With no sandwiches! I can't see them anywhere. We'd better call the rescue team. Norman and Peter are lost at sea, trying to rescue a nipper and Norman's ham and pickle sandwiches. Norman and Peter are lost at sea, trying to rescue nipper and Norman's ham and pickle sandwiches. OK, team, let's go. We need to launch a full search and rescue mission. might be caught in a current. We'll need to search as far and wide as possible. I'm on it, Sam. Behold! The Spark Sky 2000! It's flying! <laughs> no need to thank me. It's getting quite hard to hold. Oh, I've got to film this for your dad! Whoa! Uh, they can't hold the line and film the kite at the same time! Okay, so why don't we just tie the kite to the tree over there? That'll keep it steady, and then no one will need to hold it. Great idea! Come on! One, two, three, heave! <laughs> right, Sam. You press the left one and turn the dial, I'll hold this one down for two, and... there! Uh, 
Emergency! 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 <laughs> Choose that one! It sounds like we're a fire station in outer space! <laughs> <sighs> but we're not a fire station in outer space, Elvis. Je ne parle pas français. I have no idea what he just said. We've pressed every button on this console, and this is the best we've got. Um, why don't you just ask Sergeant Ravani? She said the new voice on the police system last week. Ah, did she now? Do you have enough slack to tie around the tree yet, Hanno? Yes, I think so. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, the wind is too strong. I can't tie it. Hold on. I'll come and help you. Wait. I can't hold it all by myself. Don't worry, James. I'll loop the line around you, then you won't have to hold it. There you go, James. Oh. Uh... Right, Hannah. <clears throat> Just let go of the end for a moment while I... Oh. <laughs> I didn't think that one through. James! There, it should work now. James Jones is dangling between the lighthouse and a giant kite and can't hold on much longer. That voice is really good. It is. The emergency is a bit far-fetched, but other than that, it seems to be working fine. Thanks, Sergeant Ravani. Uh, that wasn't the test. That was a real emergency. <laughs> what? Oh, no. James. James Jones is dangling between the lighthouse and a giant kite and can't hold on much longer. Wild men anymore. I think maybe we should stick to the firefighters for now. That's it. We're doing it. All at the same time, like a real team. Oh. 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 oh, that's it. I can't go any further. Ooh. Come on, you two. Keep going. Go, Team Wild Man. No, Moose. Tom is right. We can't go any further. But, but a wild man never gives up. Ugh. Ellie, we've seen some amazing teamwork from the firefighters today. What would you say is the secret of good teamwork? Pay attention to what the rest of the team are doing and listen to what they're saying. And, uh, lots and lots of practice. Thanks, Ellie. That was really good, Sarah. I wonder how the wild men are doing. Let's go and find out. Oh, we might even get some more good shots. Come on, team. It's only eight more miles to go. Eight? Oh, no, why, mate? I got nothing left in the tank. So, 
Team Wildman. How is your amazing Wildman teamwork going? Ah, uh, it's not Sarah. Oh, we're a bit puffed out. Uh, every muscle in my body aches. Even me aches have aches. Wait, wait, wait. The wild men use their brains as well as their muscles, and I just had an idea. Ho, ho, ho. Film this, Mandy. The river goes nearly all the way to our destination. So, if we can float the log on the river, then it will be easier to push. So the river becomes part of the team. Exactly. Ah, Moose, shouldn't you be wearing a life vest if you're going into the water? Oh, don't worry, Mandy. I'm only going in up to my knees. Come on, Loggy. Oh, right, it's in. Okie dokie. Now we just need to steer the log as we head downstream. Uh, Moose. Oh! Tom, you call for backup. I'll try to help Moose. Fast as you can, mate. He's heading for the waterfall. We better call the rescue team. Moose Roberts has been swept downstream towards the waterfall, and he is attached to a massive log. Moose Roberts has been swept downstream towards the waterfall, and he's attached to a massive log. Sam, Ellie, you track Moose with Saturn. I'll meet you in high dress. Roger that, Penny. Let's find that wild man. Our Ponty Panty Spicy Sauce. It's today's special offer. Ooh. Ooh, don't mind if I do. I'm starving. I've been fitting smoke alarms all day. <laughs> Eat up, Elvis. It tastes as good as it smells. <laughs> oh, does it? Because it smells very, um, horrible, actually. Oh, no. Does it? Um, yes. I think some of your ingredients, uh, clash. Bananas and sausages? Surely not. How do we make it smell nice, then? We need to sell loads of this sauce. Uh, well, I always say, keep it simple. <laughs> Just a few different ingredients that smell nice together. <laughs> oh, OK. We need to make a new dish new ingredients and lots more sauce. And this time, we'll make it smell really good. Ah, that should do it. Now, we just need to test the alarm. Can someone pass me a battery? Oh! <laughs> oh look at that one! <laughs> my old toy fire engine! <gasps> and my favourite boat! <laughs> Assistant James? James! Look at that one! <laughs> <sighs> I'm back! Guess how many smoke alarms I've fitted. <laughs> Elvis, could you pass me a battery for this alarm, please? One sec, Ellie. Ooh, 
Is that you as a baby, Sam? Oh, the little Sam. <laughs> We need to hurry, Norman. It's nearly closing time and we haven't sold a single bottle. The vegetables are ready, ma'am. Heat up the cooking oil, quick. And now the sauce. Uh, uh, oh, no. We've run out of sauce. There's plenty in the shop, Norman. Get a fresh bottle and fast. I'm on it, ma'am. Uh, which do we want, ma'am? Spicy or extra spicy? Oh, I didn't know there was a choice. What do you think, Norman? Um, but, uh, I'd, I'd say, um, the, the extra spicy. Oh, is that too much for the lunchtime crowd? Oh, Mum, Mum, fire! Fire? Where? Oh, 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 fire! Norman? My Norman? I'm here, ma'am! There you are, Norman! Oh, oh, I'd better call the rescue team! A pan of spicy sauce has burst into flames and set fire to the cut price store. A pan of spicy sauce has burst into flames and set fire to the cut price store. to stuff a freezer, don't you? <laughs> um, oh, um, um, oh. oh, no! Don't worry about those now, Dillis. We need to get all these others in the freezers quickly. Oh, careful, Trevor! Ah, there. Right. Oh, Dillis, I think we're going to need more freezers. This one is nearly full. Don't worry, Trevor. I've got a couple out the back that I can plug in. Won't be two ticks. <laughs> Here, Trevor, I just need to plug these in. Trevor, where are you? Here, Dillis. Well, stop lazing around. We need to get these freezers filled up. There, all plugged in and ready to go. Are there sandwiches in these backpacks, Ellie? <laughs> no, Norman. They just have some sandbags in. So you know what it feels like to have the weight of an air tank on your back. Now. When we go into a burning building, we each give the person with the ECB our tags so they can always see how much air we have left. Fire Cadet Norman, air at 100%. Oh, Fire Cadet Norman! Did you hear that, Mandy? This is so exciting! <sighs> Fire Cadet James, air at 100%. Fire Cadet Sarah, air at 100%. Now, go find Dolly! Oh, I can't believe we get to go in the fire station training tower!
already got it. Uh, stop it, you two. We're all supposed to be doing this as a team. No. Uh, uh, uh. Mandy, you've made Dolly's foot fall off. <sighs> Dolly has survived for five years of our drills. But one afternoon with the cadets and she's got her foot off. Right, Trevor. You vacuum those peas up and I'll put these packets in the freezer. <laughs> oh! What's that? Oh, no! Trevor! Look out! Dillis, I think you'd better call the fire station. The cut price store is on fire, and Trevor, my hero, is trapped inside with half a ton of frozen peas. I've rescued Dolly's foot. The cut price store is on fire, and Trevor, my hero, I mean, Dillis's hero, is trapped inside with half a ton of frozen peas. Quick, let's follow her. She's really good at finding stuff. This is gonna look great on the wall. Yeah, hey, kid. Yeah, don't go far. We won't! You might have found everything else on the list, Mandy, but you will never find that pansy. To move a horse in an emergency, you need to loosely hold the reins and say, walk on. Let's try it. Me? Uh, right. Okay. Uh, walk on. Oh. Oh, oh, oh look at me, Sam. I'm doing it. Kilo, whoa. Right, Sam. Your turn. Uh, right. Here we go. Uh, walk on. Oh! Uh, huh? Uh, Sam, I'm not sure he likes you. Moose told us not to go too far. Maybe we should head back. Ah! So much for your big plan. I don't see any pansies here. <gasps> Up there. There are green leaves growing out of that rock, and I think I can see a bit of purple. I'm definitely going on the Wall of Fame now. Well, if Mandy's getting a photo of the pansy, then so am I. Me too. Oh, that's not what I meant by heading back. Just need to get a bit closer. There! Ho ho! Up at last! And it's down again. Mandy! Norman! Sarah! Stuck on hill! Rock's falling! Need help! Oh no! Better call the rescue team. Mandy, Norman, and Sarah are stuck on a collapsing hill near the Mountain Activity Center. Mercury would thrash Phoenix any day. Oh, <gasps> don't listen to her, Phoenix. I knew you would win. Well, I don't suppose we'll ever find out. Anyways... Unless... We do a competitive drill. Exactly. But... but... they're completely different vehicles. How would that work? Easy. They can both drive on completely different terrains. <sighs> Elvis, you take the ridge road, and Ellie, you take the forest road. 
and I'll time you. Yes! Of course this is happening. Let's head over to the finish line. We can watch from there. should be herding Wooly, not playing with her. Is this how they do it on dog versus sheep, Grandad? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. I, I think Nipper might have missed a few episodes. Uh, come on, let's round Wooly up ourselves. <laughs> That's it, you two. Now, if we can just ease Wooly toward the open gate. Nipper, stop! Nipper! Ah! Grandad, is this how they do it on Dog vs. Sheep? No, James, Wooly is hurting me. It's Grandad versus Sheep! <laughs> She's in the paddock! Quick, James, close the gate! Ooh. There. Safely in. <laughs> Grandad! Oh, no! They're running away up the mountain! Oh, dear. Three, two, one! is handling Phoenix like a dream. Ellie's not doing badly, too. Go, Ellie! Oh, I know. I'll make a finish line for them. Really? Didn't you say this wouldn't be competitive? Oh, that was earlier. Hurry, we need to make a checkered flag. Nipper! Yeah, oh, my goodness. It's getting steeper. Don't worry, Grandad. Not much further. Wait! What was that? That's Nipper and Wooly. Oh, oh. Better call Mountain Rescue! Nipper, the dog, and Wooly, the sheep, are stuck on a cliff ledge up in the mountains. <laughs> Looks like a tie to me. Nipper the dog and Wooly the sheep are stuck on a cliff ledge up in the mountains. Roger that, Arnold. We're on our way. Uh, Lizzie, we'll go ahead and meet you at the top. Roger that, Sam. Have you safe? 